What's good everybody? We are back with another video and today we've got one that I've been looking forward to for a while. So a lot of you guys know that I've been using the Red Magic 3 gaming phone. I've been loving it. We actually did a giveaway for it and I'm getting ready to ship this one out to the winner of the giveaway. But in the time when I was doing the giveaway for this, my wife actually started using this phone to play Call of Duty Mobile. And initially, she only used it whenever we played for the video that I made. But then she started actually wanting to play the game more and more. And so I felt bad about the fact that I had already given this away because I know it's a lot harder to learn how to play Call of Duty Mobile on a regular phone as opposed to a gaming phone. So I actually hit up Red Magic to see if it would be possible for them to send me one of the newer copies of their phone and they actually said that they would send me a new one along with one to give away. So I'm really excited about this because we are gonna be able to give away a newer copy of the Red, Red Magic 3, which is the Red Magic 3S. And I believe that is what we have in our package today. Not 100% certain, but it says the package is from Nubia, so I feel uh, relatively confident that that is what we have here. And guess what? Tomorrow is Molly's birthday. So this will be a nice little additional birthday present for her as well. Uh, can we get some happy birthdays in the comments, please? And uh, drop a like. One like equals one happy birthday to my wife. But anyways, open it. Oh my gosh. This is oh, have you have you ever seen anything more beautiful? Look at the look at the package. Packaging on these is so good. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and use this little uh, little Google Play gift card to get this first one opened up. See how it looks. Oh baby, let's see. Ooh, ooh, we got a we got a different color this time. All right, so the one that I have is black on the back this one we got a nice silver backing to it you guys it's kind of tough to tell with the reflections but once we get the uh once we get the plastic off it should be easier to tell all right just for the sake of the unboxing we had to get the we had to get the hand cam set up right so you guys can see everything that we're doing for this unboxing not that there's anything innately special about unboxing the phone itself i don't really feel like going through all the work Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So we'll do a real quick side-by-side. -side. It looks like they're pretty similar. Obviously, dimension-wise, these are pretty much exactly the same. This bottom little label is something that will come off. So overall, there's not a ton of differences between the phones. Like I said, the Red Magic 3S printed right there. You still have what I imagine will be LED lighting on both sides. You got the fingerprint scanner on the back. You do have a different shape for the vent right there, which is the only significant difference that I can see. Other than that, it seems like everything is pretty similar from one version to the next, but we will go ahead and get one of them fired up just to see if there's any type of internal differences with processing, imagery, anything else like that. Oh, she's coming on, uh, just for reference, what this one looks like whenever it's turned on. So Google actually has a really cool feature that go ahead goes ahead and just copies all your accounts from one device to the next, which is going to make setting this up actually surprisingly easy. All right, so we got everything set up, ready to go. It partially, or I guess is still in the process of transferring over all my apps, so we won't quite yet be able to take a look at Call of Duty Mobile or anything like that. But I think we should be able to take a look at the settings, just see some of the general changes from device to device. So the one on the left is the 3S. Uh, I'm not sure how accurate this is. And I think this is probably based off of recent usage. The 3S has obviously been under more heavy usage, given that it's currently downloading all of my apps. And so because of that, it's probably only going to last till 1.30. That being said, till 1.30 is still five and a half hours, and I'm pretty sure that's assuming pretty heavy battery usage. The more than two days remaining on the Red Magic 3 right here, saying 50% with more than two days remaining is probably because I haven't used it a whole lot over the past couple days. 
you can see right here both devices do come with 128 gigs of storage now i think this is changeable on the website whenever you're ordering the device so if you guys do want to check out the website for the red magic 3 you can check that out down in the description but you can see right here both of these devices come with the same 128 gigs of space a couple things that you will notice on the Red Magic 3S over here that you won't notice on the Red Magic 3 are number one, screen recording, and number two, picture in picture right here. So you can see those two right next to each other. Now, I don't know if that's because I haven't updated my Red Magic 3 recently enough, or if these are features that can only be found in the Red Magic 3S. But you can see that we actually do have built in screen recording with the Red Magic 3S, which is something that I've really needed because. Currently on the Red Magic 3, all I really have to record with is AZ Recorder, which is not terribly reliable and is unable to capture internal audio. One of the things that I'm looking forward to on this is I talked to Noah. Unfortunately, we're only able to record in 720, uh, but I believe that was the max I was able to record in for the AZ Recorder as well. Uh, and you can actually choose to record either mic or system sound, something that you're not able to choose in the AZ recorder either. So hopefully that will come in handy when it comes to creating content on the devices. And we've also got picture in picture. Uh, so currently only supports WhatsApp. This is essentially the ability to use one app inside of another. I don't use WhatsApp a bunch myself, so this probably won't do a whole lot for me but it is there for those of you who wish to use it. I went ahead and closed out all the apps on both items just so we can take a look at how each device is running in game mode. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna flip this sideways and get it zoomed in a little bit so you guys can see more exactly what's happening on the screen. So we're gonna go ahead and flip on game mode at the same time on both apps. Whoa. Got it. All right. So we don't have any selected apps for the Red Magic 3S so far, as you can see. Smart Game Acceleration imagining, imagining the competitive world. We're going to go ahead and add Call of Duty as our only game mode game on here. We're going to hop into Call of Duty on both devices and see what the specs are looking like with the game fully up and running. So if we go ahead and swipe to the right, we'll be able to see the game center for both devices. Now this right here is our Red Magic 3S. This is our Red Magic 3. You'll see that the temperature of the 3S is running higher right now at 34 degrees Celsius, most likely because it's currently in the process of also downloading all the apps that it needs. Looking at the GPU of the 3S, it's currently running significantly higher. As you guys will see right there, it's running at 675 megahertz as compared to the GPU of the Red Magic 3, which is running at 345. Once again, that could be due to the fact that this one is currently downloading a lot of apps. You'll also see that the CPU is running a lot higher at 2.96 gigahertz as compared to 1.8 gigahertz on the Red Magic 3. There are a couple of differences that you guys are gonna notice down here in the very bottom area. So right here on the Red Magic 3, we've got the fan, the ability to block messages, super snap, standby, and docking station. On the Red Magic 3S, we got the fan, block messages. We also have the ability to block calls. We have super snap, we have recording, which is a feature that we took a look at earlier. We've got standby, we've got the docking station, and we've also got a new feature that I'm not really sure what it is. So what I believe the purpose of this function is, is actually something that I've seen people complain about a lot when playing Call of Duty Mobile. Effectively, this prevents you from accidentally swiping down to open up the taskbar that would normally be open. So if we click no longer prompt, I believe it now needs two swipes in order to bring down the taskbar. You can see we actually have to swipe again. Whereas if I didn't have that function on, we go ahead and turn that off. First swipe down is gonna go ahead and enable it and another swipe down is gonna take it down all the way. So this feature is gonna go ahead and prevent those accidental miss swipes for whenever you are playing the game and trying to drag down at the same time. I will definitely say one of the cooler features of the Red Magic 3 is the LGB light strips that it does have on the back of the phone. So if we go ahead, look at it right here. If we go ahead and turn on game mode, what that is gonna do is it's gonna go ahead, ooh, and we got a little, a little sound effect as well, but that's gonna activate the RGB light strip, which really just gives it that gaming feel that you only get from other things like gaming computers, keyboards, other things like that. You'll even see it on my gaming mouse right here. 
We've got it turned on for both of our devices, so they actually have an app on the Red Magic, both the 3 and the 3S, that will allow you to customize the red light. Oh my goodness, lights galore, or sounds galore. If we go to the LED strip app, we can actually choose what the design on the back of the phone is going to look like. So it can be flow, flicker, flash, collider, beacon. I personally like collider, and if we set it to preview and we hit save, LED effects one, I believe whenever we flip the phone over and turn on gaming mode, you'll see it's now gonna have a new design for the LED strip on the back of the phone. Overall, between the two phones, there's not a ton of differences. Obviously, the built-in screen recorder is gonna play a huge difference for me as a content creator, but regardless of which phone you're looking at, they're pretty similarly priced, and I think a lot of the major differences is just outward appearance and the different colors that are available for each of the different phones. If you guys wanna check out either the Red Magic 3 or the Red Magic 3S, definitely make sure to check out the links down in the description. And like I said at the beginning of the video, we are actually going to be giving away this Red Magic 3S because they were generous enough to send me two. I've still got one here packaged up and ready to go for one lucky fan. So all you guys have to do to enter to win this one is simply hit the subscribe button down below and make sure to comment on as many videos as you can throughout the rest of the month because on New Year's Eve, we are going to be deciding who the winner of this one is. We're gonna be picking one comment from each video throughout the month, and we're gonna be selecting from those comments to see who the winner is gonna be. All you guys have to do is comment and subscribe. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below and subscribe to the squad if you guys haven't already. Before we end the video though, uh, since tomorrow is Molly's birthday, I am gonna call her up and we're gonna give her her early birthday present. Hello. Hey, can you come upstairs? Why? Cuz, cuz you love me. Barbie. Okay. Your early birthday present. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't sound so excited. Okay, which color do you like better? I'm, I'm gonna show everything leading up to the kiss and then. Uh huh. I love you too. Alright, guys, that is gonna be it for the video. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the squad if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.